back to Exploration Forum Day 2. Today we are going to explore together with our customers how we can build a world we want to live in together with them. Back to the Future, a blockbuster movie from the 80s has foreseen a lot of innovations like wearable technology, hoverboards, video calls, but there is one thing that they fall short of. Yes, Joanna, and they could actually have asked us at Volvo CEO about that because it's about intelligent machines. And we are actually one of the first in the industry to showcase something that is concrete in this area. And with us today we have Jenny Elfsberg, who is one of the super experts in this. Uh, tell us, Jenny, what is intelligent machines? An intelligent machine, that is a machine that uh, think by itself, you should say. So it has uh, sensors, different sensors, and it has intelligence on board, some kind of computing power. So it can actually utilize all this data and draw conclusions. These machines, the intelligent machines, they will know their exact location. They will know uh, what's going on around them. And they will also know when they need maintenance. And they are driverless, is that correct? Uh, they can be. It's many different levels there, so mm -hmm. the assisted just supports the operator and next step the machine can do some operation autonomously and then uh, we can go to remote control and in the end of course driverless. But we would still want to be the managers of these machines, mm -hmm. so even the driverless would of course have some people around them. When you have an intelligent machine, first of all, you don't need to worry about the knowledge uh, and experience of your existing operators because the machine will make sure you get it as productive, safe and efficient as possible. And then, of course, when, when we take the next steps where the machines are doing more work by themselves, they can run 24-7, week after week. It will be safer, it will be more productive. Torbjörn, how will intelligent machines make our customers work more intelligent? Well. What we see is this, this technology provides more uh, productivity to lower cost. So I think that's the major impact for our customers. With automation, you get uh, more machines running uh, with less personnel. So it's very much about cost. The wheel auto that yeah. we tested uh, in an asphalt plant, that one could reach to 70% of, of a highly skilled operator mm. when he is at his best, or mm. she. We humans, we make mistakes uh, and that leads to accidents. With intelligent machines, we will have a lot of sensors that can uh, understand its environment. And uh, based on processing that information, uh, they will be able to do preventive actions to reduce the accidents. Does it mean that in the future we won't have any operators any longer? We will of course have scenarios where we can leave the machines to do the work and I would first see the dangerous work tasks being taken away from the humans and then these humans will of course do other work so the operator will uh, be, have a more pleasant job, will be more of a supervisor, more of a planning the process. And how far off in the future are these to become commercially available on the market? We talk about different levels of intelligent machines. So the assisted is already out there, of course. Mm -hmm. And then to get uh, to the highly automated, that can also happen quite soon. But these fully autonomous machines that we dare to leave without our supervision, uh, it's, it's a bit far out. We need to work together with customers, take the machines we have now, the prototypes, and explore together with them. The most thrilling thing to me, especially when you're coming you know, from the environmental side and you know, trying to advocate sustainability, is that now it seems like we're not just moving into more environmentally friendly solutions, but really about technically better solutions, which you know, any financial director would be happy I think it's been really, really inspiring and uh, all the new equipment and the solutions that you have shown us here has inspired us to new logistics thoughts that we like to Im implement as soon as possible.